Airplanes buzzing around Talkeetna are a common sight this time of year. But it's what flew into the small town late last week that had people here buzzing. Okay, everybody out of the way, because I don't want anybody, him getting confused by anybody. It's the bashed and battered tail section of a World War II era B-17. They're going to be making two more trips back tonight. They're going to bring a fuselage tail uh, wing and the landing gear back tonight. But it's the vertical stabilizer that you see standing up in the air, and then that's a horizontal leaning against the ground. It's a historic relic that until recently had been lost in the Alaska wilderness. It was September of 1951 when the bomber took off from Elmendorf Air Force Base. It was over the woods north of Talkeetna when an engine caught fire. That engine eventually broke off the plane. The pilot was forced to crash land in the trees. Six of the seven crew members survived the accident. Of course, there was a, after a crash here in 1951, there was a big fire, and most of the fuselage, cockpit area, all that was, was consumed by fire. Greg Kennedy is one of about a dozen volunteers trying to recover what's left of the bomber. Yeah. Right in here where I'm standing is uh, um, the area where the pilots would have sat. We found, uh, digging up here, we found uh, parts of the pilot's headsets and all kinds of different things that were in the cockpit. It was just last summer when Kennedy and the other volunteers heard about the B-17. Since then, they've been working toward recovering the bits and pieces spread throughout the crash site. This is the third time this, this summer we've been out. Um, each day, each time just for a couple days. So uh, we've only, it's only taken us about six or seven days total work to get to the point where we could, uh, we could start moving the wreckage out. One of the most treasured pieces hoisted from the site is the landing gear. Also found a bomb site in its day, a top secret device for the ally war effort. Uh, when we found it, I told all the guys up there I was going to have to shoot them because this was classified material. So what's to become of all this newly recovered treasure? But it's got a lot of good components, uh, castings and forgings in it that we'll be able to put to good use. Let's go on up with it and over. Is it clear on the other side? Yeah. Get out of the way. Walk it down. Yeah, no, just let it go. Let it go. That'll get the dust out of it. The volunteers plan to take parts found in the wreck and install them into another B-17 built the same year. That plane is stored at a museum in Ohio. The hope is to someday once again fly that B-17. Once you're able to visit our museum and see some of the World War II veterans come through and kind of tears in their eyes, you see why we're doing it, because there's a lot of memories to the, our veterans. There's also the opportunity to preserve this history for our children and preserve it as part of American history. Not long after the tail section, the landing gear arrives in Talkeetna. The excited crew inspects what the wilderness has finally given up after all these years. What comes to mind is this left here 60 years ago and just now getting her back. With photographer Mike Niederbrock, Steve McDonald, Channel 2 News.